right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survive Russia. It's Saturday, it's awesome, it's always awesome. <laughs> Spring is here, it's super warm today, plus 12 degrees C's. I cannot complain. But since spring is here, we have to get the dirt bike ready, we have to get the, the, the little SRV ready, the big gator we have to get ready, because uh, hunting season will start in uh, one month, we'll have 10 days of, uh, of possibility to go to the woods and, woods and harvest some, uh, some game birds and some snowshoe hair and whatnot. But this video here is not about game birds, snowshoe hairs and whatnot, this is about backpacks. Three super awesome backpacks. Here we have the three packs, they're from Savota, Finnish company, Finnish guys, they make awesome equipment. These two guys there, they are actually uh, border patrol packs. So I'm not gonna do like an in-depth review of each pack, but what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna try and explain you and demonstrate why these three packs here, they're gonna replace my previous something like 19 odd backpacks or something like this. I have a lot of backpacks, I of course use backpacks a lot, lot, and I have used these quite a lot on camera and off camera as well of course. Today I'm sporting the Savota Jekari L, Jekari Large. That is an awesome pack. That is for dang sure. But uh, we're not so much here to talk about packs. We have, I don't know, about three hours of daylight or something, maybe a little bit What I said, so water, they make super, super, super awesome equipment. And uh, what started my, my interest in these pack here, packs here is that, uh, yeah, I, I wanted some water yakery packs, so some water packs for quite a while. But uh, since I needed a, a small light pack for heading to Moscow and going to the woods and whatnot, I, I decided to start out with just buying this little guy here. This little guy here I've done a review on and uh, it was so awesome. Then I decided to get the medium Jaeger and the large Jaeger. I don't have the XL, <laughs> not yet anyway. <laughs> well, I said I want to try and show you why these three packs here, they're going to replace all my other packs and why they are super awesome and why they stand out from the crowd, so to speak. So let's dive into that real fast. So I started out buying this little guy here. It's not super cheap. I think it's like around 100 euro or something. And I'm not paid by Savata to do this video here whatsoever. <laughs> My reviews, they are almost always made, so in AI you can say in order to, to show you guys stuff that works. You steady viewers, you know all about this. It is so great to just open this pack, you can see it almost opens by itself. Get what you need, fold it back down, lock it up. But one thing all these packs here have in common is, of course, a lot of molly or pals whipping. None of the packs have any external pouches whatsoever. And that is one of the things that I find super awesome. <laughs> All the packs are made from uh, Cordura 1000, D1000. But as you might have noticed, we have a little, uh, we have a little pouch sitting on this guy, and it's a uh, multicam, multiscam. So uh, yeah, it's of course not original to the pack, but uh, it's a molly pouch. Boom, this is a Russian pouch. It's actually a pouch for small mines, claymore mines, but uh, it's a super awesome pouch. There's not gonna be a review on the pouch or anything like that, but uh, what is awesome, of course, is that uh, I can just take this pouch and put it on this pack here, if need be, or I can take some of my other utility pouches here. This is an actual water pouch. And I can use them as side pouches, front pouches, whatnot. I can even take my little uh, molly pouch here for my uh, printing cartridges and attach them wherever I want, if I want. So what we basically have here is, of course, three backpacks without any external pouches. But the pouch is, of course, interchangeable between the packs, which I find Super awesome. This is one of the things that I actually really, really like about this, this whole system here. And you, of course, don't need to use any propri proprietary water pouches because uh, Molly is Molly. A really great thing about this system here is that you can see that the compression straps on the sides, they sit between the Molly straps here. So uh, when you weave them, these straps here will uh, still be functional. 
Let me just weave this guy in and I'll show you real fast how it works. I mean changing pouches and all that good stuff is uh, it's not problematic at all. Even if you haven't used Mali in your possible military career, then uh, you'll get the hang of it pretty darn fast. Even I can do it, right? <laughs> so there we have it. We have a pouch up here. I could put it lower down, of course, if need be. And compression straps are still functional. We have it coming out on the other side here. The same of course goes for the front. I said I, I got this uh, mine pouch here because uh, it suits my needs pretty darn awesome. And uh, it's also very fast to weave. And this pouch here, it can be used as a as a bag by itself, of course. There's a little handle and has two metal D-rings, so it can be used as a shoulder bag if need be and so on. It's an awesome little utility pouch. Well, that's basically it. And uh, I, you, we can uh, choose any type of uh, of molly pouch which we would like to carry, right? I mean, we could have a long molly pouch on the side if need be for one trip, for another trip. We just might a little might need a little pouch or s some small pouches, right? We might just want to have one inside on the one side. Maybe we want two small on the other side. It's super awesome. It's super modular. <laughs> I, I really, really like this. And I really like this closure here as well. Great pack. The pack here has a internal, uh, an internal uh, tube frame. We can take a look at it, maybe, real fast. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bing. So the Yekari M is what's called the light border patrol pack. The Yekari L, the large, is just the regular border patrol pack designed in the 1980s and uh, of course upgraded, you can say. And uh, they are both designed to carry a lot of weight comfortably. The internal frame from the Yekari M here fits in the Yekari S. The Yekari S here doesn't have a, an internal frame, but it has a pocket for it. So you can buy either a separate one, or you can just change them out between them whenever you use them. And there's one thing which is really, really awesome about this little guy here. This little guy here doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And what you can actually do with this here is that you can fold it up into itself. I'll show you real fast how that is done. You can of course since these two guys here is down even more, but see, now you have a small sausage of a pack. And this little sausage you can of course dump in the pack. Or you can strap it to the side of the pack, because you can just remove one of your uh, uh, pouches or not wear any pouches or anything like that. But uh, yeah, it can be strapped to the pack here. It can of course be strapped to any of the packs, right? And uh, the reason I like this is of course that I always say when we go to camp it's a very good idea to have a small backpack 
uh, uh, auxiliary pack, so to speak, that uh, we can stuff our survival gear in when we leave camp or go on a little bit of a hunting trip or something like this. So uh, this is how you can say that this, that, that, that all these packs, they sort of like play into each other. I mean, this can go in any of the packs. The frame from this pack fits on this guy. All the utility pouches fit, fits all the backpacks, right? Or we can simply just use uh, the packs without any pouches. And by the way, this little guy here, has access to the sides. Yeah, we have some stuff in it because I actually use this pack here, right? But uh, yeah, this just super, super awesome backpack system. So these are the packs that I'm gonna use. One, two, three, and then I have a fourth one as well. But that's an old school style of pack that we're gonna take a look at in a different video. I think that's basically it for today, guys. That's it, spring is here. Time to do some stuff. Now we're just gonna get rid of all this white stuff here because there's of course a little bit more of that in the woods. But uh, yeah, let's see what's gonna happen tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, please check the links in the description. Please consider supporting the channel and uh, the projects of the channel. Thank you very much to, to, the, to the Patreon and the PayPal supporters enabling me to uh, get a drone. We got a drone. The Patreon guys already know that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at that maybe tomorrow, who knows? But uh, please check the links in the description, guys. As I said, please consider supporting the channel and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome, and uh, see you in the next video. This is a super awesome day. There's a very, very little snow left for this time of year. How awesome is that? And how awesome are these packs there? <laughs>